Hello. So what I want to do today is to talk about what happens when we mix together solutions of two different salts. And what we want to do is to just look at it. So let's look at what we've got here. I'm going to start off with potassium iodide here. I'm going to put some of this into this test tube. We don't need that much, okay? We have some. And now what I want to do is to add some lead to nitrate into this. So here, I'll add some lead to nitrate, drop it in. So what do we see? You can see here that we have formed a liquid here, but you can clearly see that there's some solid yellow solid forming here. Okay. And therefore, it's clear that we've got a new substance that is insoluble in water in here. And so, what's the substance? And what reaction has occurred? Now, let's take another example here. This time, I'm going to go ahead and go back to using potassium iodide and put a few drops of this in. Okay, I'll put a few drops in. But this time, instead of adding lead to nitrate, I have sodium chloride. As you can see here, nothing's happened. At least nothing visibly has happened. So what's the cause of this difference? Why, is, why do we see different things in these two different situations? And moreover, in this mixture, when I added potassium iodide and sodium chloride, did a reaction occur? You should be aware that in this case, all three of the original solutions were colorless. So the yellow color was not the product of anything from the lead to nitrate forming a color in itself. Let's look at these figures. So here, you can see that because these are strong electrolytes, the two compounds here, potassium iodide and lead to nitrate, both dissociate. The potassium iodide dissociates to form K plus and I minus, while the lead to nitrate dissociates to form Pb2 plus and NO3 minus. Now, if you look at each of these, Okay, so in solution, we essentially have all four of these ions in solution. And what's to say that we can't have lead, um, sorry, the potassium ion getting close to the nitrate ion or the lead 2 ion getting close to the iodide ion. And then the, this is what's known as metaphysis is two ions that when you mix together, are both in solution together, come together, and this is why we call it a double replacement, because what happens is you swap the two pairs of cations and anions around. So potassium so you think about what happens when potassium is with the nitrate and what happens with lead 2 is with the iodide. I know I'm not very good at drawing. This is a lot clearer. And if you look at this, the solubility guidelines, lead 2 iodide is insoluble.
and as a result, when they come into contact, they clump together and form your precipitate, which is the yellow substance you see in the test tube. So this is our insoluble substance, and you see the state symbol here being S to indicate that. It is very important in this section to label all your state symbols, whereas potassium ions and nitrate ions are still floating around, but because they do, their potassium nitrate is soluble, they remain in solution like that. So what happens when sodium chloride is added to potassium iodide? So let's look at this. So I have K plus and I minus here. I have Na plus and Cl minus here. And let's think of what happened. Potassium chloride and sodium iodide are both soluble. So you now have all four ions are mixed together in solution. There's no change in together the ions, and as a result, no reaction has occurred.